Texture packs or resource packs, they're the exact same thing, are one of the best ways that you can customize Minecraft 1.19.3. So, how do we go about installing texture packs and resource packs? Well, first things first, we need to download one. Now, most likely, you have a resource pack in mind, and if you do, that is awesome. But if you don't, we have a list of 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.19.3 that you can check out. Now, in this video, we're going to be installing four. The reason for that is each one has a different download process, as well as, once we get in-game, there's some different things about each pack. So, first things first is John Smith Legacy. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on these download buttons and just open them in a new tab. The next is number two on the list as well, Creator Pack. Then we're going to scroll down here and we are going to grab the Bare Bones Pack, which is the one that's actually featured in the thumbnail of this video. And then we are also going to grab Faithful. All of these are amazing, but as you can see, most of them will actually take you to our website for a dedicated tutorial where you can click the download button to go to their official download page. Now, in the case of Faithful here, what we want to do is look at the right-hand sidebar and scroll down to the 1.19 section. Now, I'm recording this the day Minecraft 1.19.3 came out. If there is a 1.19.3 version here, click the download button next to that. But it's also okay to use a 1.19, 1.19.1, 1.19.2, or 1.19.3 version in Minecraft 1.19.3 for your texture pack, right? So as you can see, the download is beginning in the bottom left there. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser, but we didn't have to. Same thing for John Smith, click the download button, but this one takes you to John Smith's actual website here, where we don't want to download the Bedrock version. We want to download the Java version, so make sure we go down here. And as you can see, we actually do have a 1.19.3 snapshot version for this, so let's go ahead and download that version by clicking right there, and the download begins in the bottom left. Next up, we have the Creator Pack, which we can scroll down and click the download button on. Again, completely separate download process on their website. You can kind of just see how different all of these are. We want the Java edition, and then we want the 1.19 version. So right like so. Now we can finally click the start download button here and the download will begin after a few seconds. Last but not least we have bare bones. This takes us directly to Curse Forge. Come to the right hand side, scroll down and download the 1.19 version. While this is downloading, how about a mess our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much actually that we host every single one of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting get the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Nevertheless, we've got our resource packs downloaded. If we minimize our browser, I'd recommend moving these to your desktop just because it's easier to manage them when they're on your desktop. To do this, go ahead and click on the little Windows icon top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Then type in downloads. Now, you may have a downloads folder up here here. If you don't, just go ahead and open up the file explorer and you'll have a downloads folder most likely on the left hand side towards the top. But if not, scroll down and under the this PC section here, you will have a downloads folder right here. And then there are all of your resource packs. It's a little hard to find. Uh, usually you can just search it right here, but this isn't working for me for some reason. But nevertheless, now that these are on your desktop, we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.19.3. I will see you in game. So here we are. Minecraft is open. From there, we want to click on Options, Resource Packs, and then click Open Pack Folder. Now again, from the main menu, click Options, Resource Packs, and then Open Pack Folder. That's going to open our Resource Packs folder, where all we need to do is drag and drop these Resource Packs into our Resource Packs folder right like like so. Once these are in our resource packs folder, it's actually really easy. Go back in game and here they all are. Now, as you can see, all of these except John Smith Legacy, which is the 1.19.3 version, are red. Now, that may scare some people, but I promise these are going to work perfectly fine. However, with a pack that's not red, just hover over it, click the arrow, it's going to move it to the selected section, and click done. Now, John Smith Legacy is installed. We are good to go. We can go play Minecraft with it. But if we go back into our resource pack section and we hover over John Smith Legacy and move it back to the available section using that arrow, Let's move it down to bare bones. Let's hover over this, click on the arrow to move it into the selected section, but we get this warning. It's made for an older version of Minecraft. It may no longer work. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we do. Because it's only made for the same version, just one version lower. So we're good to go. We can go ahead and click done. It's going to add this pack and it's going to work perfectly fine. We can actually go ahead and quickly jump in game with this pack just to show you that it is working and show you some of the stuff you can do with resource packs in game. So here we are in game. As you can tell, we have the smooth blocks texture enabled all looking good. However, if we go ahead and hit escape and then options, 
Resource packs, this is the same thing we had on the main menu, and we can use it the same way. So we can move Bare Bones over here, and we can move Faithful over. We do need to confirm that we want to do it, even though it's a one version difference. Click Done, and boom, now Faithful is installed. As you can see, we have all of the beautiful looking Faithful textures here. It's also a very diverse area we're standing in. Now, if we go ahead and want to, let's say, add in a sword pack. Let's say, for example, the creator pack here didn't have any other textures except weapons, right? There's these things called weapon packs. Unfortunately, I don't have one downloaded, but let's say that's what we had. But we didn't want to use default Minecraft textures with that. We wanted to use faithful and the weapon pack. Well, in order to do that, you would just move it over. To get the warning, click yes. And we want to make sure that the creator pack or our weapon pack is over faithful. So to do that, you can use these arrows here. So if it's like this, we can just hover over this, click the arrow and move the creator pack on top. When we click done, now creator packs textures are going to show first. And then anything creator pack doesn't have a texture for is going to show the faithful texture. And then anything faithful doesn't have a texture for, it's going to show the default Minecraft texture. Now in this case, creator pack has textures for pretty much everything. So there's not really anything that is faithful. But if we did have a texture that was just swords and tools, for example, we could install that over an existing resource pack and be able to have the tools from the tool pack with all the other textures from the creator pack, from Faithful, from Spax, from any other resource pack. But nevertheless, that is how you can add resource packs to Minecraft 1.19.3. Again, if you want to disable them, just go into Options, Resource Packs, and move them over into the Available section, and then... Right like so, you don't have any resource packs installed. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out the video on your screen right now because YouTube thinks you'd like it. It could be on how to make a Minecraft server. It could be on how to make a resource pack. We've got a video on that. It could be on how to install skins. It could be on another Minecraft mod. Go check out that video because, again, YouTube thinks you'll love it. Let's see if they're right. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.